Well, good morning and welcome to Mustang Lake. Today's job is netting. The reason we're netting is to remove silverfish. We crop them every year. This reduces the biomass, improves the water quality and helps the big carp thrive. So it's an interesting day. Hopefully we're going to show you plenty of roach, maybe some big pike and maybe a few of the big carp. So yeah, let's get going. Got my gloves on and see what we can catch. Well, we just pulled, uh, just pulled this net through. Not been easy, the lads have had to pull really hard, got stuck on the clay, but looks like we've got a few fish. So we're now gonna sort through them, put back the carp, take out the small roach, have a look at some of these big old crocs. So yeah, happy days. Nice big pike, slip that one back. They're obviously lively. But here's another another nice pike. There you go. Ooh. Slip these ones back. Ooh. This one's about 35 pounds scaly carp. Look at that. Roach coming out, the wheels carefully, carefully net in. There's going to be several hundred pounds of these, they're like sardines. If you notice what he's doing as well, a little net, he's not crowding it, he's not using a big keep net. Last thing we want to do is damage these fish, they're going to go to a really good new home. So it's all about being patient here, taking your time. But yeah, we've got several hundred pounds to get through. Lovely carp over there, one of my stockies. Young Jason's holding up, lovely little scaly. There's Lee the bailiff with a lovely 30 pound common. All these carp are obviously going back. They're very lively, as you can see. Another big croc, one to put back. Really fat. The quality perch are going back. They've got a job to do. One of the predators in here. All the decent pike going back. Look at the size of that for a roach. These roach thrive in these carp lakes and we put all the big ones back so obviously you're taking out competition when you take out their all their babies so yeah, we drop these ones back each year it's one of the lakes big commons it's one called black spot i think it's 37 37 pounds beautiful fish actually behaving Beautiful to see. I always check their condition while they're out. This one's pretty mint. So let's slip her back. Oh, muscles are starting to ache. There we go. One last look. <laughs> Another 30 pounder here. This is sort of average stamp in this lake. This one's about, I don't recognize it, but it's, up, it's an upper third, it's probably 36. It's a lot of, a lot of 36 pounders, mint condition, great to see my arm, take them out, you grab her. My, uh, my arms are starting to ache to be fair, no, I'm not complaining, back you go big girl, well we're 
because we're filming I thought I'd bring this one out on the bank to show you it's one of the it's one of the biggest fish in Mustang Lake it's called the tank everyone wants to catch it and it is oh, it is a proper whacker it's a while since I've lifted a fish this size but there you go 45 pound of male carp so yeah quick look and uh, yeah let's slip him back for someone to enjoy <sighs> look at the whip for that absolute breeze look back you go big fella here you go another one upper 30 38 ish I'd guess lovely big fish big common here I think this one's about 37 lovely fish arms are aching so big watch out Jay's coming through this is a smaller one but it's one of my stockies it's probably about 20 pound now went in I think last year so nice to see the future coming through as well pretty fish home growing Perfect, thanks guys. We're getting there. How many do you reckon you got, Will? Uh, a thousand. So we're probably one, one swoop, probably a thousand pound of silverfish successfully rehomed. And it's always nice to see the carp and the big pike and the specimen roach look at them and this is towards the end of the net and it's still there's still some carp in here we'll try and show you those Lee's got a nice common there if he can hold it nice common probably one of the smaller ones in here but it's still well over 20 pounds and what's so important while we do this every year we, like I said at the start is to control the biomass you know these these commercial big carp lakes you do need to really manage the stock so removing these silvers every year that's increasing the water quality the oxygen will be higher the ammonia will be lower so it's a job every year has to be done and it benefits everything well that's it that's the hard job done cup of coffee and a bacon roll now uh, one thing I'm going to do I kept a couple of big roach in a bucket so uh, I'll show you those because you all love a big fish there you go I saved a couple of bigger roach just to show you I know how much you specimen boys like me love these yeah imagine these on a cold winter morning trotting afloat beautiful fish never get tired of seeing these so yeah let's uh, slip them back and go and get that cup of tea we all deserve <laughs>